little bit windy, guys. Today I'm going to show you what a full 18 holes looks like while I attempt to break 80 at Royal Dornock, recently voted the third best golf course in the world by both Golf Digest and Golf.com. I'm just going to say it now, you're about to witness one of the most brutal rounds of my life, but I hope you enjoy it as much as I did, because this is Royal Dornock. When you tee off here in the Highlands of Scotland, they play the bagpipes for you and um, they call out your name and introduce you, so that's about to happen to us. Ah, oh, striped it down the middle. I was nervous, I was very nervous, but it's gone somewhat straight, so we're good. All right, for my second shot, all I had left in was a wedge, and I managed to find the bunker right next to the green. This was my first experience of the day of a Lynx bunker. I've never been in one before, and uh, I decided to take a couple of swings inside of the bunker because I'm just not used to how soft they are. So yeah, this is uh, the third shot, which finally got me out, which left me a nice putt for double bogey on the first. Comfortably missed that putt as well, so this is a safe triple. Alright, hole two is a very special one. It was described by Tom Watson as the hardest hole in golf. It's a par three, which usually plays into wind, and it's on an island green. I comfortably pushed this ball out to the right and missed the green. I'm assuming that's not an easy shot. <laughs> The caddy's suggestion was to putt this instead of chipping. Second shot on the hardest hole in golf, according to Tom Watson. Thank you. Everyone's saying good. <laughs> Left me this long putt to save par. I wanted this one. Yeah, you were right. I started it right at it. Now don't judge me here, that was to save bogey, and we were told to pick up if we basically make double or worse. I, I stopped doing this, but sue me, I took a double. Tim, we started with a triple and a double. How do we feel about the current target of breaking 80 right now? <laughs> uh, I reckon we'll probably do a bogey next and then a par after that. We might have to adjust the goal to break. 110? <laughs> what do you think? See, at this point I thought Benji was being very funny and joking there, but you'll come to see that he wasn't too far off. Thank you. I actually made very good contact with the tee shot in the third, uh, and I actually found a fairway for the first time. We're playing downwind for most of the front nine, so I felt like I was coming into my groove here. Oh, Timmy. What are you doing with the club face? I've been told anything on the 90 for my handicap would be good here. Triple and then a double is not a good start. <laughs> True. Oh, Timmy. That is not a good golf shot. As you guys can see by the flag here, there is a seriously strong wind blowing Boy. continuously at this course. If you managed to keep track, that was double bogey on that hole, so we're fresh off to a plus seven ah. to three. Just out of the fairway. Is that a ni nice fairway over there? Oh, it's going uh, so I've far. hit the other fairway, so I've got a good look in now, I think. Well, I mean, my caddy told me to start it over that left side, and then I proceeded to push it all the way into this fairway. <laughs> I felt like I had a very good look in here actually. Second shot, could see the green. What's going on? And I managed to find my second Lynx bunker on? of the day. Is that bunker number two for today? So bad. I, um, this doesn't look great on me saying I mean, that one was just made like four parts in a row not too long ago. And now I'm currently seven over for three holes. <laughs> but I'm just having one of those days where I can't connect with the ball. 
Come on, Tim. I'm usually good at out of bunkers. Long, long way from there, I'd say. The ball just doesn't stop with the wind. I'll take it. That's pretty good. Can I make a bogey? Let's find out. <laughs> I want to go over this thing here. Okay. This to save bogey. No good. So far past Such the ball. Such a big miss as well. And no good for double either. <laughs> Triple in the bag. <sighs> I am frustrated. I'm trying not to show it. So were you saying the reason why it hasn't been going well is because you're hungry? Yeah. Right after we had breakfast just then? <laughs> it's the biggest breakfast I've had in the <laughs> Tim's obviously not doing great right now, but the team is playing decently. We're having a good time out here. Next up, we have a short par four. It's exactly what I need after that start. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just... I think this is good. Just right, yeah. Yeah, that's gone a long way. The wind is slightly behind. <laughs> I was very hopeful that I could hit my first green in regulation here. Fuck off. Hated it. Might have come back. What am I doing? What is this club? It's a little bit windy, guys. Did not see this one coming. Oh, Tim, you didn't warn me about this. <laughs> <laughs> My caddy actually advised me against this strategy. He told me to chip it out sideways. Yeah, you're not going to put it as close to that, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate the... I've, I've been so bad the first couple of holes, I understand his concerns. <laughs> This is my first par. Park, solid. We've made a par. <laughs> yeah. I honestly didn't think I'd make one. <laughs> Same after the first par. Are we back on track to break 80? Yeah, man. Just need to go completely flat from here. <laughs> I feel good though. The swing, that swing was crazy good. Oh, the bunker one. Up and down at the bunker in the links course. Not well, everyone can do it. All right, next up is a par three. I was actually hitting a nine iron here. I hit the green. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Tim with the first birdie putt of the day. Downhill into wind. Tim, it's not even close. Bit of work left for that too. Putting. Yeah, good three pipe bogey, huh? <laughs> I guess it's fair enough. It's, uh, it's probably it's probably a little paying. All right, next up is a par four. We were told by our caddy to place 480 yards off the tips, but we're obviously a little bit further forward, and it was playing downwind, and I lost my ball. Is that a reload? And stripe the second down the middle because that's just that's just golf. That's just what happens. Yeah, it's when always you the second reload. one though, isn't it? It's the biggest drive of my life, even though it's my third off the tee. 470 yards par four and I'm one. Just a wedge in. A bit short, didn't catch all of it. Look at that wind effort, really. The wind just doesn't stop it. It so probably. <laughs> it was a bit windy that day. This ball's about to start rolling again. Triple bogey. <laughs> Just 
calculated, Timmy is 14 over after, I, after seven holes. <laughs> I always knew this, I just didn't want to say it out loud. That ball is just falling off the tee purely because of the wind, like unforced. All right, hole eight actually dips down to the right and I was told by my caddy to take an aggressive line onto the second fairway. And I actually had a great tee shot here, it's exactly what he told me to do. Which left me not long in. I think this is a pitching wedge in hand. I thought I caught this one quite well as well. Is that um, too far? Is it like a drop off there? <laughs> Brilliant. It's a bunker there apparently. And I'm all the way at the back of the green, but I've got two putts of par here, so actually looking quite good on this hole. this for the second part of the day. Oh my god, I'm, what am I doing? Tapping bogey. Alright, well, bogey. I mean, bogeys have been pretty good lately. Alright, we now hit a turning point. We start walking towards the clubhouse again, which means we're playing into wind. We start off with a par 5 as well, so this is probably the longest hole I'll ever play in my life. Not exactly how I planned it, but right. look at this, guys. Right by the ocean in the highlands of Scotland. What a beautiful, beautiful course. Here I am, packing around. God, it's good. It's so good. I'm 130 meters away, and I don't know if I can get there. It's like 130 playing 200. Yeah, it is, honestly. I remember this shot. It, it went straight up and I'm pretty sure it stopped in the air and then just started blowing left. It was right at the flag, it went straight up, stopped, and then just started flying left. <laughs> and then it landed and it didn't stop. It's like right on the out of bounds marker on the left now. And it was like dead straight. <laughs> okay, up and down to seven par. I believe this putt would make me shoot 50. I could be wrong though. Everyone loves a comeback story. <laughs> 30 on the back. <laughs> to save par. Just way too hard. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And now a very long downhill putt for bogey. Nice, nice oh, I just didn't want to drop. All right, after nine holes of golf, which have all mainly been downwind, I shoot a 52 in the front nine. The goal of 80 is not looking very realistic anymore, so we decided to change it to break 100 on the back. Let's see how we go. All right, this is uh, par three. That's 125 yards. Caddy's just told me it plays 175 yards today, so I'm putting a five iron on a 125-yard par three. I wasn't lying, I was trying to leather a 5 iron into this par 3, and yes, I shanked it, it was off the hustle. Reload. Thinned it. Scroll up things up. Bogey. <laughs> I was so confident it I want to see a comic. That it's is a, brutal. It's a comedy story. I was so confident brutal. that would work. I kinda don't know what to do. Nothing like putting twice and then pulling out your wedge to chip. <laughs> really good chip as well. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Alright, moving on to hole 11. I have just set myself a new target and started off with a quadruple bogey on the 10th. So, finding the fairway is a good start. Ah, no, you're joking! I've had it Hitting so close. Hitting the second OB is not good. Reload. 
Oh, God, you suck. I was coming backwards at the end there. <laughs> Another very good putt, actually. That's actually a decent there. shot. I'm quite happy with that. Nope. Alright. What was that in the end? Eight over through two holes in the back. <laughs> back to back quadruple bogeys. This is just, I can't, I, I, I'm scared to swing. <laughs> Low little runner. <laughs> yeah, I meant to do that. It is good to see that despite back to back quadruple bogeys, I'm still laughing on the golf course. Maybe, is it open there? Oh, okay. Not a good spot. Also not a very good shot. <laughs> That's a bit better. Something right. Par putt. <laughs> yeah, cool. a very long putt for the first par in the back nine. Oh. Again, quite good, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Because, like, Bowie's like a real victory right now. <laughs> All right, par three next. I have to be honest, I was genuinely contemplating a new driver on this 170-yard par three. My forearm didn't quite get there. That is cr that, the fact that that's short is crazy. Yeah, I could have five on Pop for birdie. Look at the flag move. To save par. I'm <laughs> what was that? Is that two bogeys? Two bogeys in a row. Not bad. We're back. <laughs> It was um, quite obviously too windy for us to fly a drone, but we got the stock footage just to show you guys how beautiful this course is. It just plays along the coastline the whole way. <laughs> no. Another illustration of just how windy it is. I actually hit this drive so well, and again, I, it just felt like it stopped in the air. Right. It's actually a really good shot. Playing a 440 yard par 4 into wind is, is very difficult in the Highlands of Scotland. Yeah, I, I hit it bad. It's three good shots and still short of the green. Pat the par. To save Bogey, the third in a row. All right, we've now got a short par four again. Oh, it's and I top my driver. Great lie to be in. Oh, get over the mound. Went around. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and putt this from 100 yards out. Uh, because I feel like it's a legless golf and you need to try stuff like this, you know? Play the conditions. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Tough to... I can't even make good contact with a putter. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go back to chipping. Not the first time today moving from putting to chipping. <laughs> I guess that was a putt, really. Dude, I've lost everything. I've lost everything. That's such a long way away. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Let's pick it up, Benji. <laughs> pick it up, Benji. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not proud of this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I had to pick up, guys. Uh, <laughs> just you, like, you had to? Piece of play, yeah. Just, just could, couldn't keep playing. <laughs> okay, next up we have another par four. It plays into wind, uphill, away from the ocean. Shouldn't be very hard considering how well I've been playing so far. All right, driver. Beautiful draw down the middle. Gone about 150. Thank you. Three iron. I was trying to hit a stinger here. Third shot into this part four. Still can't get it there. I think, yeah, that's a big hook left. That falls down a long way. There I am. <laughs> trying to flop it back up. Actually a good shot. Technically a putt for bogey. Just about 50 feet. Do I get it close? Kind of look at the wind. Save double. I mean, I'm not proud I'm saying this, but that's a, that's a good triple bogey. That's a good triple. Triple bogey. Actually a good result, honestly. It's so good. Finally, after what has felt like years, we have a hole which is placed downwind. Is that too far right? I had a six iron here because I knew it would just fly. That's so shit, Tim. Why are you so bad today? Golf had gotten to me at this point. <sighs> at least I didn't go in the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did find the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Just so broken at this point. And the clubhouse was so yeah. close. Pots just didn't want to go in for me. Right. <laughs> We're counting that. We're counting that. I think I saw that. Going in. I was going in. <laughs> All right, guys. 18th hole, 458 yards, back into the wind towards the clubhouse, and another good drive down the middle. Going with the three iron again, trying to keep it low. Again, another good shot on any other course. Surely I get there in two, but not here. Drifts off of it to the wind. A third shot, which is within reach. Just off to the left. Par putt. Can I finish strong? It's not too bad. Bogey would be so good to finish with. And of course the left side. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? Guys, I cannot believe I have broken 80 at Royal Thorn. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was a good insight as to what one of the best courses in the world in tough conditions is like for a high handicapper. Um, I know I didn't achieve my goal, but maybe next time, right? <laughs> Subscribe. See you then. <laughs>